But first thing first is I want to say thank you to all of you um, who came and joined us over the weekend, whether it was in person or online. You were with us over this weekend for our fifth pastoral anniversary. From the bottom of my heart, I want to express to you thank you. Um, Many of you um, who may join us in this podcast who um, perhaps you weren't able to make it in person, um, but you're with us regularly through this podcast. Um, we received uh, many expressions of love and encouragement. And um, I just want to let all of you know that we are so grateful for you. Um, for many of you, I may not be your pastor, um, but you, you're you a part of our community. And the simple fact that you wanted to express express love towards us as we were celebrating this time, it just it means it means the world to us. And we are so grateful we're so grateful for you. So um, for those of you that are, are members of Thrive Church and even those that may be interested, um, if you at any point uh, missed any of the messages that were shared, they are available on our on our YouTube channels. I haven't put them on the website yet, um, but they'll be available on the website. But they are on YouTube and they are on Facebook. Um, Friday night, we had Bishop Eric J. Freeman. He came and shared with us and he blessed our lives. Lord have mercy. He blessed that place. Um he gave a word uh, titled Frontliners Arise, Frontliners Arise. Um, regardless of what church you go to, I believe that message would bless you and it would prepare you um, to be better equipped to serve at your ministry. Yeah, Frontliners Arise. And then on yesterday, uh, my dear brother, Elder Aaron Bernard Hayes Sr., he came and he shared with us uh, la- uh, yesterday morning a message titled It's a grace thing. And he absolutely blessed us yesterday. And I tell you, both of them, both of them, um, they absolutely blessed our ministry. And I would encourage you to go and listen and reflect on both of those messages. All right. And so um, if you're new here, uh, we pray Monday through Friday at 630 a.m. Excuse me. We start our day off with a brief devotion and prayer. And then um, on Saturday, we have our uh, Saturday and Sunday, we have prayer gatherings then as well. Uh, we'll talk about that more at the towards the end of the week. Um, but we've discovered one true thing that prayer, it changes things. Not only does it change things, but it changes me. It transforms my life every single day. And there is a community of people that are here with us this morning who can testify to that truth. And so if you've been looking for transformation in your life, I would encourage you to join us in this lifestyle of prayer. Uh, Take the time to hit the like, follow, or subscribe button, whichever is appropriate for the method that you're using to be with us today. Um, We would love to have you to be a part of this, of this community. All right. And so I think that we've covered the things that I needed to cover on the front end. God bless you, Sister Mitris, Sister Mitris, uh, to our mom and dad. Um, elders, uh, Gregory and Linda Moore, we thank God for you both. Amen. And my beautiful bride, First Lady Chanel Brooke, she's here with us this morning. Um, I don't know if I got you earlier, Sister Joanne, but God bless you. All right. So let's go ahead and get into our devotional for this morning. Let's pick up the scripture, actually. Let's go to Genesis chapter one. And we're going to, y'all, of course, we've been talking about the creation story. In fact, we're in a series right now titled The Creation Story, and we're viewing it as a model for kingdom creatives. If you didn't know, you were created by the creator to be a creative. That's a person whose primary job is to produce the original idea of God creatively. (laughs) And so let's go to... Genesis chapter 1, um, verses 26. We'll actually just read verse 26, and then we'll go on from there. The Bible says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. I'm going to say that again, and I want you to pay attention to the word our, okay? Then God said, Let us make man in our in our image, according to our likeness. Now, without going deep into that, 
What this lets us know, and I want us to focus on God in this particular text, um, what I want you to see is that God, he identifies himself as, how do I say, you see the plurality of God in his sense of being, meaning uh, what the scripture reveals to us even throughout the creation story is the triune nature of God. You've got God the Father, you've got God the Son, who's also called the Word of God, and then God the Spirit. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember that? Yeah. So when he says, let us make man in our image, he's referring to the triune nature of God. In other words, when God created all of creation, everything that exists in the physical realm, what we discover is that he didn't do so with just part of himself. He did so with all of himself. He put all of everything he had, all of who he is, into this work. Isn't that special? Especially when it came down to us. He said, let us make man. He didn't halfway do it. He wasn't partially committed to it, but he put all of himself into it. This week, I want to share on a series of devotionals or of devotions titled, It's All or Nothing. I want you to put that in the comment section. I want you to say that aloud this morning. Tell yourself, it's all or nothing. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. It's all or nothing. You see, what's so amazing is when God says, let us make man in our image according to our likeness, um, we then see that in the human that we are reflected, um, reflect, we are a reflection of who God is in the sense that um, we are also triune in nature. With God, we see that he is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And then we also see with man, and whether we look at it in, in this particular text between chapters 1 and 2, in fact, in chapters 1 and 2, we discover that man is comprised of three elements of, as well, or three, um, three aspects of who we are. Number one, we are spirit. Number two, we are then soul. And number three, we're body. All right? So if you're taking notes throughout this devotion, or these are things you want to write down. So with God, we see God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With humans, we see that we are spirit, soul, body. Can you see that? Now, why do I bring this up? Because as a kingdom creative, what I want you to know is that it's going to take all of you to build what God planned for you. I need you to know this this morning, that it takes all of you to build what God planned for you. Perhaps um, as you've been navigating through your days, through your life, um, perhaps you had an inkling, you had, a, had an idea of, of what you were placed on this earth to do. And, and I want to know, uh, how much did you put into it? Did you give a measure of yourself? Or did you put all of yourself into it? When it comes to the layers of your life, have you given all of yourself or just a portion because if we're going to truly build the life that God intended for us to live, we must do so by giving everything we've got. All this week, we're going to navigate through the aspects of the human body or the human human's existence, because I want you to know that it's all or nothing. That in order to build what God planned for you, it takes all of you. Yeah. It takes every component of who you are. It takes your spirit, it takes your soul, and it takes 
your body. And in order to see what God said, you're going to have to do it just like him. In order to do the thing that, that he did, that he designed or planned for you according to your likeness. Yeah, it's not according to your, your brother's likeness or your neighbor's likeness or that preacher's likeness. He did something. He planned something just based on how you were designed. And in order for you to experience and see what God said, you've got to know it's all or nothing. It takes all of you. Write that down. Put that in the comments. It takes all of me. Yeah. This week, we're going to learn how to be all in when it comes to what God planned for us. Let's pray. Father, we honor you and we bless you today. You're holy. You're righteous. You're our king. There's no one greater than you, no one mightier than you. And so, Lord, here we are humbly yielding to your authority. Lord, we ask you today to forgive us of our sin. There are things that we've said, things that we've done that did not align with who you are. Lord, forgive us, oh God. And I'm so grateful that your word teaches us that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sin and purify us of all unrighteousness. And the natural response to your goodness is repentance. And Lord, we tell you this morning, thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this day that you've made. We make the decision to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, this day, we recognize that when you created all of creation, you gave it your all. You put all of you into this work. You didn't reserve a part of you. And so, Lord, we recognize that being those who are created in your image, according to your likeness, that in order for us to build what you planned for us, God, we must give all of us. So, God, I pray that this week that you would cultivate our hearts and cultivate our minds to be a people who have the mind to say it's all or nothing that in my relationship with God hallelujah I'm not just going to give you part of me but I'm going to give you all of me that when it comes to caring for myself that I'm not just going to give part of me but I'm going to make sure I take care of all of me and father in order to build the relationships in my household and to maximize my potential and my work and to be in community God I'm not just going to give part of me but Lord we're going to give all of me because that's the way that you did it we know that it takes all of you to build what God planned for you. So Lord, have your way in our lives. We are people who are surrendered to you and the assignment that you have on our lives. And Lord, as I close out this prayer, I just want to pray a blessing over this week. Pray a blessing over your people. Father, I pray that you would protect us, cover us, keep us, guide us, lead us according to your spirit. I pray for prosperity and the work that you've assigned to us, Lord. And I pray that you would help us to not only meet our goals, but to exceed them because you are the God that exceeds the need. And Lord, we resolve by praying the way that your son taught us. And we see our father who's in heaven. Holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and all of God's children say, Amen. Well, God bless you. My name is Enrique Brooks. I'm honored to be the senior pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast. So we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. I want you to take 60 seconds to reflect on today's devotional. In fact, I want you to make it your business today that when you pray, Lord, teach me how to give all of me. Let that be your prayer today. Let that be your prayer this week that you would say, Lord, teach me how to give all of me. God bless you.